How's it going everyone? It's Mike here from Blast Process. We are back for another go at the Dungeon Nightmares. I've got a key, which is helpful considering I'm in a hotel. And I need to get to room 303. I managed to go down into the dungeon and then for some reason go down an elevator which I thought was going to go up and it went down and then I respawned back into what supposedly is my original room that I started the game from in. So we'll see what happens now when I go to room 313. Right, so what number was I in? Okay, 307. 308. Room 5. Room 6. Is this counting down or is this counting up? Three or four. Okay, so we need to go back the other way. And funny enough, I've got no map as well in this area. That's my room again. Okay. How is it moving by itself? Well, it's not moving now. So where's three, where's the room that I'm after? So maybe it has restarted. I'm so confused. <laughs> so I got the key and it said to go to room 313. Well that's 310. 39. So, oh, so where's if that's twelve and that's eleven and thirteen's not here. <laughs> Can't be down at the opposite end because it wouldn't make any sense. Hmm. Where are we up to in here? Oh, funny enough, there we go. What? Someone wants to play beach volleyball with me. Doesn't seem to be. Maybe I should have walked to the controls before I started the game up because I can't seem to jump with anything now. But this is definitely the room I was supposed to go in. Actually, let's go and follow the uh, the crazed girl that was running away from me. And here we go, back down to the door. 
want to benefit, I'm going to get my map, my map back again, but I'm going to be stuck down here, not know where I'm going again. And that's going to be a crazy girl running around. It's not going to end well. It's definitely not going to end well. So here we go. Second time now, back in the dungeon. I need all the fucking the next thing. Spikes, I can hardly see because it's that dark, but yep, yeah, they are spikes, so I shall not go down there. It's the noise again from the girl laughing. Something tells me I might be going ironically the right way. What's been going on down here? Blood stains? or is it when I walk past them? Am I touching them? Dang. What? I don't know what's going on here. That was amazing. That was class. It was weird because I was obviously in a room where the door, I could hear the door opening, but there was no door in front of me. And then like, I think I was looking at the wrong way, the wrong direction as well. I think I probably should have turned around and then the water saw it. It's almost like it was waiting for me. Like just creeped up to his like, he's not even gonna turn around. So you tell you what, I'm gonna come for your side. Provision. <laughs> right, so I don't even know if I died then or if I just like I don't know. I don't know what happened. But yeah, so you saw me get scared. I didn't think I'd really get scared of these horror games because as much as they look good when you watch people play them, you never know until you play it. It's about the atmosphere and the sound and yeah, it's definitely worth checking it out. So this has been Dungeon Nightmares 2 and I've been Mike from Blast Process and I'll see you in the next video.